guess how many times guess how many times guess in terms of percentage how many times completing the square has come within the last 10 11 12 exams in terms of percentage how many times has completing the square come guess in terms of percentage so we're waiting for people to come online you know how it goes these are live videos so it will be webcam quality but the lesson will be really interactive i'll be talking to people that um chatting here live you can skip ahead to the parts that you know you need you really need to get when you're watching the video after the live so i'm just waiting for people to come online and start chatting i hope the chat working when the chatting working is kind of Oh, the chat, the chat now again. Uh, damn. So now I need to watch the chat here. People saying eighty percent, a hundred percent. The question is, hey, God, good to see you, man. And guess how many times, in terms of percentage, completing the square came in the last twelve years? I now sit on there calculating that I'm watching it, and, and this is a little strange. Back in the days when I wrote the exam. Completing this square was like 50% of the times. Maybe even 60, above half the percent of the times. Guess in terms of percentage, how much time completing this square came in paper two in the last 12 or so exams. People saying 20%, people saying 70%. I can tell you everybody here said it too high. 75% way too high. 60 way too high. 30% too high. It's actually under 10% that they bring in completing the square. The last since I since I do that video on completing the square, <laughs> I'll be really suspicious of these things. And you know, we have the CXE spy, there's a CXE spy who watches all my videos, even more online class videos, paying to come to online class to watch my videos to see what's going on. Anyhow, but it's like about eight, eight to ten percent of the times completing these percent of the times, and I had one in ten, and then less than one in ten that they will bring completing the square. That's if you judge the last twelve exams. So you can look at this two ways: one, it didn't come in again, so don't revise that. Or two, it didn't come in such a long time it might damn well come for January. Like they'll look back and say, "Yo, like we forget this part of the syllabus. Bring it, bring it, bring it." So, I don't know how you're going to take that, but I, if I was you, I'd be, make sure I'm well prepared. Watch the video I have on completing the square. We'll come back to this video. We'll just, you'll come back, sorry, to this question. I think this is 2014 or 15 or one of these years. Let's just look at this question, which kind of gives an idea of understanding how quadratic graphs are. So, are you ready? Let me see how, much, how many people do we have online right now. You all have to give me a number because my chat disabled right now. I can see the chat on my browser, but I can't see it on my program that I use. There are only one watching. It's seeing one watching. All right, 13, 50, 52. All right, so we finish off. Yes, now we finish off our video. And what we are doing, circle term with about 120 people live, which is really good for January. And now we have 54 people live here. So let me just do the house announcement very, very quickly. Jendai, nice name. This is the number you want to WhatsApp if you want to join my online class, like you're doing the exam with me and you want that extra help, you want that lessons, you want the best lessons in the Caribbean online. Back and watch about all the lessons, classes that we do before. WhatsApp this number. Free up yourself. So that's the number there, right? You don't need to message me for this number on Instagram. Just WhatsApp that number, the admin or deal with your matters. 200 TT a month. Press like on the video to boost the video. So everybody who subscribed to the channel that wants to see videos that live, um, Google, YouTube will send them a notification. To know when next are coming on live, and I am coming on live tomorrow. I will do some more stuff tomorrow. I'm doing uh, on live every day till exam, till Monday. Um, Follow me on Instagram at Cohen Springer. Just follow me on Instagram. I have a Facebook page too, but I don't use that that much. So it's my Instagram page. You need to follow me to find out about stuff. Right, so let's get into the question. The diagram below shows a sketch of a quadratic this, that, where B and C. So you notice 
They have B and C here, right? I didn't want your question, and you know? I just see the graph, and I know that this question will explain it. See somebody just getting notification, and she was here right through Danny was here from before. So you all press like on the video so that other people will get a notification when they see it. When they see the video pop in, where B and C are constants. Okay. And X is between that. So that's like the domain. That's like from here to there. Understand what I mean? All right. So we catch the idea. This is the graph. This is our quadratic graph. Looks the shape is called a parabola. Parabola. Uh, like that. That is when E is positive and when E is negative, we get a maximum point. Maximum point, minimum point. All of this is explained on my channel really clearly and nicely in HD. Like this is not in HD right now because it's a live video, but you can go and watch that on. HD later after this video, I don't know when you're studying, thing, thing, thing. Let me get the question. State the roots of the equation. I need to make sure uh, in that it's showing up here. There's a few things well. How are doing this way? Well, just give me one second to just minimize something so I can see. Why is, look at the question and see if you can answer the first question in the meanwhile. Uh, make this small. Squeeze this so. Bring this down so. Hey, 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 no, no, no. You go back up, go back up, go back up. Bring this so, so. Scroll down here, see the chat. <laughs> Somebody see this garbage coming Monday. What year, sir? I forget the year it is now. Honestly, forget the year it is. Let me see if I can find it back for you. Uh, I think it was 20, look around 2014, 2015, somewhere there. I, I can't remember the year, sorry. Um, not that important. All right. Uh, I'll still do it here and get experience. Yeah, that's good. All right, so state the roots of the equation, x squared. So we are the roots. State the roots of the equation. The reason I picked this question, that's January 2014, thanks. The reason I picked this question is because it really helps you to grab, grab your ideas around the terms that could pop in this question. Because if the brain completing the square, bet your bottom dollar, they're going to make sure you really understand what you're talking about. Eh? Roots, y intercept, x intercept, minimum point, maximum point. They'll make sure you understand what it is they, they're asking you. They'll ask very clever questions on it. Um, State the roots of the equation, this. So the roots of the equation as Tariq, Ari, Ricardo, and Anne says are negative 1 and 5. The roots are what we call the x-intercepts, where the graph cuts the x-axis. When f of x is equal to 0. When this is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0. All of those mean the same thing. This line here, x-axis. These points where the graph cuts, that's the roots. So the roots are x equal negative 1 and x equal 5. We have that down. Ting, 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 10 points for Gryffindor. We're going to do the next one. For the function, y is equal to x squared plus bx plus c. Determine the value of c. Determine the value of c. Now, what is c? What is c, by the way? What is Elsius? C is what we we fondly call with love the y-intercept. C is where the graph cuts the y-axis. So what's the value of C in this case? Negative 5 is C. Well done, Ricardo. Well done, Ricardo. So yes, this is C here. So C is equal to negative 5. Mm. 10 points to Robin Clough. All right, so C is negative 5. Um, the roots them, all right, this is negative 5, I should put right here. The roots them, hey, roots, 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 well, yeah, boy. The roots was x equal negative 1 and x equal what? 5. What's the next question? Show that b is equal to negative 4. So how are we going to show that? Yeah? How are we going to show that b is equal to negative 4? Any ideas? Any ideas in the chat? How are we going to find this b is equal to negative 4? How are we going to prove that b is equal to negative 4? Complete the square. 
Uh, no, I, I know this video is incomplete in this square, but this question itself is not incomplete in this square. Buying scrap iron me. <laughs> um, no, you're not going to buy scrap iron to figure out this. There are a few ways I think you can figure it out. The value of B. There's a clever way you can figure it out, and there's the normal way I think you can figure it out. B is the gradient. No, 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 no. <laughs> the gradient of this changes. You know, the gradient will be going negative, 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 zero, positive, 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 higher values are positive. So it, the gradient is not. If you find the gradient of this, you'll find something. You'll find something called the gradient function. There's a curve changing the subject of the formula. Yes. Yes, kinda, Naomi. Yeah, going down the right line there. Make B the subject of the formula. Yes, yes, kinda, yes. So what I will do is substitute. Substitute. J X Y fifth. Well done. Substitute your values. So we can substitute this point, this point, this point, any point we feel into substitute, we can substitute in there. Which point are you? Pick a point. Are you going to decide here tonight? By the way, how much people on the live right now? Make sure and press like on the video so that people can get the notifications, please. Which point are you feeling? Point A, point B, or point C? We're going to substitute the point, the y and the x values for the point, into the equation. We're also going to substitute for C, and then we must figure out what B is by transposing. So everybody's saying that 5 point C, 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 right? So substitute C. So we must know the coordinates of the point, and that's kind of important. So it's 5, that's the x value, and 0 is the y value. So you're going to take this point and put it in the equation. So we're going to end up with, uh, I'll go to put y, but instead of y, I'll put 0 is equal to, what is the x value? 5 to be squared plus b by 5. You see how easy it kind of looking now? It kind of looking like, oh, right, 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 right. When the exam, if you don't know, you don't know. So you have to make sure you practice. And C, we worked out that C was negative 5. So I substituted the points and the value of the y-intercept into the equation. And all I have hiding up there is B, so I can find for B. So that's a nice point to substitute. Well then, I'll pick up beautiful point. 0 is equal to 25 squared. Actually, 1 would have been sweeter because, you know, it's 1 plus um, 5B. Did I write 25 squared? 25 by itself, sorry. Plus 5B, take away 5. So this ending up with 20 plus 5B. So this ending up with negative 20 is equal to 5B. Are you following me? This is just algebra now. So B will be negative 20 over 5, which turns out to be negative 5. Uh, somebody got 5. I'm getting negative 5. Let me see if I make a mistake. Hmm. Not feeling like I make a mistake. When you bring across the 20, turn to negative. Oh, 4, sorry. I did make a mistake. Negative 4, negative 4. My bad. I was just checking to see if I was paying attention. You know, we do it out. <laughs> right, so negative 4. So you find B, and they're giving you sweet marks for that, right? Oh, this is sure that B is negative 4. So even if you had make a mistake, you'd be able to go back and check yourself. Yeah, right, so oh, that 5 wasn't for the answer. Sweet. Stay the coordinates of the minimum point on the graph. So that's the next part of the question here. The coordinates of the minimum point. Now you understand why I picked this question and make sure you catch you your revising and you understand the drift of how a quadratic graph is look and what they mean when they talk about different things. So now on the coordinates of the minimum point are there. How are we going to get a coordinate source of a minimum point source? How are we going to get the coordinates of the minimum point? Let me see what they teach in LA in school these days. Tariq, yeah, you can use that. Um, something something wrong with how you write that do. So sort out that sort out that equation already. Completing the square, yeah, yeah, you can use that. No, I'll tell you how much marks I'm going for this, eh? I don't have how much maths I'm going to employ. Let me see if I can I picture a TK when I'm showing the marks. How much maths is so there? Two marks. 
So completing the square, somebody should take it off the graph. Uh, somebody say gradient. You could use the gradient, but you have no admins to do that. So negative H and K, Soraya, and Terry going down the best line there, right? So you can use, if you remember, your teacher would have given you a formula for the H and K when you substitute. Uh, was these the formulas that were given? I hope you're not correct with them, them formulas there. Now, some people don't know this formula as 4ac minus b squared and 4a. This and this is the same thing, right? I don't have a math teacher, so I now start to look at your channel, all right? Good luck. Let me know. Come back and check me if you pass maths. If you ain't pass, well, you can still come back and check me too, but you might need the lessons for the whole year. We started this online class in June, so next year we starting in, well, this year we starting back in June again after we finish this, this year. You understand what I say? C is equal to, um, right, so the coordinates of the minimum point is actually negative H, K. So that's one way, one method we can use. That's one method we can use there. So you just plug in these values, you get your H, you get your K, and you go forth and there's a minimum point. Why is it in chat if you understand this method? This is this is where I'm completing the square the H and the K, and the minimum point is actually this. And you're supposed to know this. You're supposed to know this. You're supposed to know this. So if you don't know this, look up my video on completing the square and start to know this for me, please. Alright? And next way we could find the minimum point is off the syllabus. Um the gradient is zero at the minimum point. So dy dx will be equal to zero. So that's a kind of weird thing to tell a math student. I mean, talk about that. But at math students, you all know where I'm coming from. If you're doing at maths, value at the minimum point is equal to zero. So to take it off the graph, yes, we can as well. So because of symmetry, this is a next method that would be accepted. Because of symmetry, the axis of symmetry will be between the roots. That's how quadratics work. I'm trying to make this line come out straight earlier, but look, look, I'm just making it this. Let's just do a freehand line. That's the axis of symmetry, right? And if anybody know this method, it will be between the roots. So what number you think that this is? The axis of symmetry is between the roots. That number is two. That's very good, Shazima. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, operating. You're yeah, operating. So this is probably the cleverest and quickest method. So this is two. So if I put this as one, two, three, four, five, you'll see that I have negative one, one, two. So that's halfway. That is three, and then three, four, five. So that's the next three there. So this this way requires a lot of thinking, but it's probably the cleverest way to get it out. Axis of symmetry will cut straight through the minimum point and it will pass through the roots as well. So using the roots, you can figure out that the axis of symmetry is actually x is equal to 2. And if you have x is equal to 2, you just substitute that into this and you will have... So when plotting graph, how do you know if it's a smile or a frown? If A is smile or frown, yes. If A, you know that's the coefficient of the x squared, if a is positive, is a frown, if, sorry, is a smile, and if a is negative, it's a frown, right? Well, I don't know about no smile or frown, I just know about minimum and maximum, you catch what I say, minimum and maximum. Once again, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you can just, don't panic, watch the video, I haven't completed the square afterwards. Right, so x is equal to 2, substitute that there. So people are telling me that the value is 2 and negative 8. Now, keep in mind, you'll have to substitute that b is negative 4, and you'll have to substitute that c is negative 5 when you're looking at it. So it will be like y is equal to what? Um, 2 squared plus 
negative 4 by 2 plus negative 5. So that's 4 plus negative 8, um, take away 5. Uh, 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 how in the world did people get negative 8 for this? What's the value of C? Negative 5 x squared 2, 2 by B is... Am I missing something? I'm getting negative 9. Yes. Me. Me. Somebody say you're wrong. Somebody had negative 8. So, um, I, think, I think it's negative 9. I think it's negative 9. So it's not, good thing I check it back, is negative 9 here. So that's the coordinate of the minimum point. Where you get the 2 from the x value? Well, the 2 is between the roots, right? So you need to explain that or show down your diagram. So negative 1, between negative 1 and 5, you could, you could explain it in algebra like this. You can see x value of the root is equal to the negative 1 plus 5 over 2, the sum of the roots divided by 2. And you will get you'll get two. So that's how you get the x value. Alright, so watch over this part, wait till the video, come back and watch over this part. Check back the three ways that I said you could do this and try to do them the three ways. Try to do them the three ways that I said you could do this. Make sure you understand completing the square inside out. Remember everything is compulsory in the paper. Alright, so let's do an actual completing the square question. This is an this is an actual completing the square question here. So, we're going to get to see how we get the h and the k now. Because we have to write this in that form. You can complete the square for real. Let me complete the square for real. Some people can do it like this. 3 into x squared minus, and 12 divided by 3 is 4x. You understand? I factorize only 3. 8. Um, now I want to get half this number and square it. So, that's like negative 2 squared. There's a little 4. I feel enough 4 there earlier. But I also need to take back out 4 times 3, which is 12. So I have plus 8. Take back out at 12. Alright, so the final answer is 3 by x minus 2 to the squared. Because I put half of that there. This is how you, this is how you complete the square, the natural method. Um, take away. Oh, you didn't need a mux. You didn't mux minus minus 4. So, let us get to see it. Alright, so, um, this is the answer. Anybody know, to, why is in the chat if you know how to do it this way? This is the way you were taught in your school. Why is in the chat if that's not the way you were taught? Uh, I know some people is know that with how the A and divide by, um, B by A and all that kind of similarity. Yeah, so, Go over, please. Now, I'm not going to take too much time going it over. I just want to do the paper itself. If you want to see it over, really explain nice and slow. I have a video doing that already. That's what I'm saying. Doing going over this will take a this is a whole lesson. This is like a whole one hour to two hour lesson to explain this really good. Right? But I have a video on that to help you with that. But I'm going to explain the quick a quick route. Where we have h is equal to what? Well, it is b and 2a, negative b and 2a, b and 2a. And k is equal to c minus b squared and 4a. Or some people learn it as a, as a one fraction. 4a c minus b squared on 4a. Formula method, right? So h is equal to b and 2a. b was negative 12. 2 by a was 3. So b is negative 12, a is 3. Understand what we mean then? ax squared plus bx plus c. General form. So I forget what a was. It was 2 or 3. It was 3. So h is negative 12 divided by that. So again, a negative 2. And when you're done, you need to put the form ax plus h to b squared plus k. So a, we already figured what h is, right? So I'm going to put negative 2 there to b squared. Just to figure out what k is. And as I don't figure out this there, 
So let's just keep the fill the, fill the blanks there now, boy. Right? Just keep the bus shot there now. So let's do K. K is equal to 4AC4. A was 3. C was already done. C was 8. 8 minus B squared. Well, B is negative 12 to B squared. Gosh, that number going to be stink, boy. 4 by 3. So you're going to have a project calculator and handle this one. Anybody know this method? So I taught both methods on my channel. I didn't teach a kind of hybrid method. Four, three, eight. I really not feeling to do this out here earlier. Give me the number. You know what? You don't need to give me the number. I know what the number is. The number is negative four. Right? So the number is negative four. So negative four is what you should get there. Um, but you want to put this into a thing in your calculator. So once you get those two numbers, you just plug it back in here. This method is easier for some people because this requires some understanding of how perfect squares operate and following a good bit of steps. Although it's just three lines, there's a lot of magic going on inside here. The quadratic formula, if you use the quadratic formula, Yes, you can use the quadratic formula and then you'll have a little bit of algebra to do just to make sure you fit it into this form. Right? Um, so it's a little weird to use the quadratic formula, but it's it probably harder than this method to use the quadratic formula. So that's why no, nobody's really teach using the quadratic formula to complete the square. Hmm. Alright, so this is, when you complete the square now, sketch the graph. Showing on your sketch the intercept, y-axis, and the coordinates of the minimum point. A question like this is what I feel could come if they bring completing the square. Something similar to this. And they make you complete the square, and then they ask you a little thing afterwards. And it will be about six or seven marks. So this was a, I went back and pulled out this question. And remember what I tell you, in the last 12 or so exams that passed, Completing the square came on, uh, sorry, less than 10% of the times. So it really, really is this. I don't know if it have anything to do with that. This was one of the first videos that I do that was explained really well. So they must say, students ready for this. Let me not bring this. You know how CX evil. All right, so 3x squared minus, what are we doing? We drawing this graph now. We join the graph, we're gonna show you why intercept, ting, 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 pow, pow, pow. Let me copy. Oh, you know, this I write A here. I should have written three there. Let's just copy this and I'll show you how to draw the graph. Copy. I'll show you the quick techniques to help you join this graph. So after you complete this way, you want to think in your mind, the graph coming so you have some intercepts there, right? You have some um you have some roots there. Did they ask for the roots? Did they ask for the roots? Did they not ask for the roots? Thank you, Lord. If they ask for the roots, I explain in the video on um, completing the square that I have on the channel how to go ahead and find the roots. But since they didn't ask for the roots, I'm not going to do it. They ask for what they ask for by the minimum point and the y intercept. So the minimum point, we just explained that the minimum point is actually negative h comma k so h is 2 h is negative 2 so the minimum point would be at 2 comma negative 4 are they a great minute hey cassidy where's he win <laughs> um 2 negative 4 so i'm gonna put that there this is my little sketch i might do a sketch then do my real sketch right so this is 2 negative 4 that's my minimum point and uh, what else, what else? Um, you know, just so I've put two here, not, not negative two. H is negative two, but the minimum point is negative each thing. And the y intercept now, don't put the y intercept as negative four. That's a common mistake. That this, this k here is not the y intercept. You have to go back to the original equation now. The y intercept taking place at, at eight. The original equation was 8. You see now there? This is the y-intercept. 8. 8. 8 only. 8. Positive 8. So that going up there somewhere. I'm going to hit them at 8. So now that I know that, 
I'm ready to do my sketch. The first thing I do when I do these sketch is draw the curve because this curve is be hard to draw after you draw the axis. You understand what I'm saying? It's a sketch. You draw your curve, you get so you do not nice, you're going to do your curve as nice as you want them now. Then you can estimate where you're going to put this. Um actually our curve still lean a little more. Okay, that's too much. Alright, I'm overdoing it for this curve now. Alright, uh put in the axis about there so right and i'm going to put my y line about uh, a little bit a real feeling with these lines let me do it freehand da, 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 boom so we're finishing up this video here after we finish this question go up boom so this is your intercept here eight and uh, the dark so the coordinates you understand i draw the curve first and i then draw the axis take that tip because that tip will help you out in life then I'm going to say that this is 2 and negative 4. I just bad enough to, you know, see that out of the blues. Uh, am I skill? Maybe that was 1 or something. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but that is 2, negative 4. That's my... So, I can, I can draw my sketch going up like that. Um, now all these indentations, I think not necessary. If they sit to draw a sketch, they sit to draw a sketch, right? Sketch the graph. And I just need to show these things. Once you sketch the graph and they show those points, you're good to go. Alright, why is in the chat if you understand that? He's more up by trying to learn something. <laughs> um, then you got to find the roots that y equals zero. Yes. Yes. Travis, you're coming through with some big words there, brother. Um, the roots is where the curve intercepts the x-axis. That's correct. But it not actually roots though, did they? The coordinates of the minimum point and the intercept on the y-axis, right? So they didn't actually the roots. If they actually the roots, let me just do it very quickly. Yeah, 3, I think you had x squared minus what? 2 minus 4, I think something like that was operating. You put this equal to 0, then you bring across the 4. Then you bring across the tree, or whatever number D was E. This is a squared here, sorry. Had no squared on the inside. The squares is B and the outside because you're completely square, yo. You make a perfect square, so the square is K. So now to get rid of that square, you end up getting the square root of the 4 over 3. So that's plus or minus there. X minus 2 goes there. Uh, continuing on the next page, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of whatever that was, 4 over 3, was it? 4 over 3. And you bring across the 2. Positive 2 now. So you get two values of the roots. Right? And it, it, that was really fast. So you can just go back and check my video and complete the square where I do it a little slow and explain it. Alright. We call it that judge. We call that judge for the night. What do you want to do tomorrow? Are you studying tomorrow? What do you all want to study tomorrow? How much time has transpired in this video so far? How long this video running so far? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what time this, this video running. How long so far? Maybe? 33 minutes. <laughs> Sleep vectors. We do vectors already. So look back on the video that I do vectors. Somebody say everything matrices, linear programming, are they really what are linear programming? Linear programming. So my class wanted some bearings question too, the online class. So I'll I'll probably do some bearings. Alright, I'll do the bearings and I'll do the linear programming from I think it was there was one recently in the last two years. I'll do that linear programming and we'll do the bearings question. Make sure and revise, make sure and practice questions themselves. Somebody say logarithms, yes. <laughs> That's that much. Um, linear programming and some bearings for tomorrow. We go hold that up. So you can do a question and let's get your variable over the maximum point, please. Dwanel, just look it up on my channel. Alright, so don't forget to press like on the video so that YouTube will share the video. Don't forget to, if you want to join my online class for me and where we do assignments right through, you can WhatsApp this number. If by chance you're living in Chagonas, in Trinidad, there is room for one or two people in my actual phys physical class. So you can WhatsApp this number about that. If you're living in Chagonas, Trinidad. Press, um, like to boost, I said already. 
follow me on Instagram at Kerwin Springer to know what time I'm coming online tomorrow. I have a class in the morning, maybe sometime in the afternoon, somebody. So, all right, that is it. Blessings. Whoa, 100 and some people watching, I see it. I'm talking. Good night to everybody. So, I send my assignment. Yeah, so them boys are the solutions, so you should get your solutions by about. Um, that is the Daryl from the online classes asking that for the mock exams. Once you send that in tonight, you should get that back by tomorrow evening, Sunday morning, so for the latest. Right? How you find that exam was that mock exams? Was interesting. Some of the questions were easy, some were kind of ridiculous. <laughs> um, the marking was the same as the marking that would be for exam because he wanted to fit more questions in the um, mock exams. Construction. I have videos on construction. Y'all, all these topics, I hope y'all watch the videos I have on it, right? It was hard. <laughs> Alright, later, later. They don't make the video too long. Later. I can't even find where the end button is. Now going on. End stream.